welcome to one day international webinar that is uh, organized by krishna chaitanya institute of technology and sciences markapur on this day that is uh, 19, 9 september 2022 on the title data science applications using uh, machine learning and deep learning techniques along with the case studies okay i welcome our uh, today's uh, resource person uh, dr asadi srinivasulu sir is a head research and professor mtech done at triple it alhabad and uh, phd at uh, sv tirupati and he is the research coordinator of data science research lab at the brookrest university autonomous in the liberia country really i welcome you sir uh, for this today's program and uh, uh, we are all very happy and uh, uh, for having this uh, one day international webinar on this topic sir thank you before going to start this uh, before going to start this uh, uh, webinar i am going to uh, read uh, our uh, today's uh, uh, research persons profiles dr asade srinivasulu received btech csc computer science engineering from sri venkateshwara university tirupati andhra pradesh in the year 2000 and completed his uh, mtech information security in uh, internal systems <laughs> Indian Institute of Information Technology, Triple IIT, Allahabad, Uttar Pradesh, in the year 2004. He received his PhD from JNTU, Anandapur, India, under the supervision of Professor C S D V Subbarao. Currently, he is working as head research and professor of information technology at Duke University, Monrovia, Liberia, and subject matter expert at Delhi, Delhi. He has 20 years of teaching and industrial experience. He served as the Head Department of IT, SV College of Engineering, Tirupati, during 2007 and 2009. He has seven IBM professional certifications to his credit, such as uh, RAD, RFT, DB2, RTC, TDS, Lotus, uh, Domino, and WID. He has two Microsoft, three EDX, two Techdig professional certifications, two Cyberry Micro certifications, two Udemy certifications on Python. Two solo LAN certifications on C plus plus. Nine NPTEL certifications and four spoken tutorial project certifications from IIT Bombay. His area of interest includes data science, big data analytics, data mining, artificial intelligence and robotics, process automation, cloud computing, pattern recognition, machine learning and software engineering. He is a professional member of IEEE, Scopus. and web of research web of science research and he is an editorial board member of i managers journal on cloud computing seira journal of computers and international journal of advanced research in computer science and electronics engineering editorial member of journal of advances in management science and information systems he is also associate editor of many journals like uh, ieee spinger elsevier interscience indavi and csi He has guided two PhD and five student pursuing PhD and fourteen MTech, MTechs and sixty-two uh, BTech batch students. He has published more than one ninety-six papers, among them twelve SCI journals, fifteen Scopus and Web of Science, remaining UGC listed journals in international journals and conferences. He has attended more than one ninety-five workshops, symposiums, and seminars. He has conducted and acted as resource person for more than. 115 international or uh, national conferences workshops symposiums and seminars he has published five textbooks for data science applications using python programming data science machine learning techniques methodologies for software testing one is for uh, machine learning and that is under review and five book chapters and obtained two patents to his credit he has two dst self seminar grant worth 1 lakh and 9 lakhs some of his publications are listed in digital libraries such as pinger nature IEEE Explorer, Elsevier Explorer, Springer Explorer, SCI Index, Scopus, Web of Science, Wall Journal of Engineering, IGI Global, etc. He has received Bharat Vidya Ratan, a national award from International Business Council, Delhi, on uh, December 14, 2018. He has received State ITAP 2020 Award, Best IT Teacher of the Year from ITAP, and uh, Tutor Spread Hyderabad. He has received Lifetime Achievement Excellence Award 2022, received from Research India Foundation on 5th September 2022. He has received many awards such as Best Mentorship from IBM TGMC Challenge Contest and Microsoft in 2011 and 
best spoke of NPTEL Swayam, best spoke of STM IIT Bombay in 2009, best mentor internship award from uh, Internshala AICT Delhi in 2019, best international scientific researcher award from Research India Foundation in 2022. He received outstanding teacher award 2022 from Research India Foundation for the academic year 2022 and 23. He visited many countries like Malaysia, Thailand, Singapore, Ghana, Kenya, Ethiopia, Dubai, and Liberia. Really, we are thankful to you, sir, for having you as a resource person for today's program. We welcome you, sir, uh, and continue this program. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you for nice introduction. Uh, welcome to International Online Webinar on Data Science Applications Using ML and DL Techniques. See, you are uh, keeping with your mobile and laptop, you are surfing, browsing, where the data is coming, how the data is coming. Without data, there is no database applications. Data is enormous. So today I'm going to show you various case studies on data science by using machine learning techniques. Before going to my topic, let me explain what is happening within 60 seconds. How many users are connected to this internet world? How many users are entered into Facebook? How many users are logged into the Google? How many are watching? In Netflix, I'm going to show you practicals. See here, if you click www.internetlivestarts.com, see here. Now, how many users are connected here? See, internet users in the world. Can you read this? Paper? See. 54 posts, 33 acts. You cannot read such a huge number. Total number of websites open, email sent. See, number is drastically changing. Google searches today, tweet sent today. See, why I am showing? Because where the data is scoring, how the data is scoring and representing, how many servers are required to store huge volume of data. Being a computer science student, you may get doubts. Sir, how many servers are required to store huge volume of data? See here, Facebook active users, Google active users, Twitter active users. So that means in this second, how many users are connected and how many members are required to store huge volume of data? You may get doubt. That's why we are moving towards cloud computing. So, cloud computing is an internet based technology. Without internet, you cannot access any kind of service or application. The backbone of cloud computing is data center and virtualization. Data center is nothing but collection of high integrated servers at place. That is called data center. And virtualization is the ability to perform multiple tasks in a single system. That is called virtualization with the help of virtualization technologies like VMware, Hypervisor, Zen, Virtual Era. We are creating a number of virtual machines. The best consumer of cloud computing is Gmail. So Gmail application comes as software as a service. So why I am explaining? The backbone of cloud computing is data center. So we can store huge volume of data. 
So this is the internet live chat platform. If you have system mobile, you can check www.internetlivestats.com. So same thing, I have represented in this image, in this slide, how many number of users are connected to in the YouTube, how many users are connected to the Facebook, those things. That means huge volume of data every day we are storing, processing, and performing various applications. Okay. So, welcome to today's agenda, data science contents. What I am going to cover, introduction to data science, statistics, and Python programming, artificial intelligence, data mining, artificial neural networks, machine learning, deep learning, augmented reality, virtual reality, and various case studies like COVID-19 virus prediction and detection, use ML and DL techniques, Omicron virus prediction and detection, Ebola virus prediction and detection, prostate cancer, breast cancer, lung cancer prediction and detection using machine learning and deep learning techniques, and uh, later application I am doing right now research on monkeypox prediction and detection using machine learning and deep learning techniques. If you see, being a computer student, you must know jargon of IT. What is the jargon of measuring the data in data science? If you press capital A, system cannot understand the capital A. Internally, it converts into ASCII format, American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Capital A value is 65. <clears throat> if you divide that by 2, you will get a binary equivalent number is 10001. That is the binary equivalent of decimal number 65. That means computer understands only ones and zeros. If you see the measuring of the data in data science, one bit is equal to 0 or 1, 4 bits is equal to 1 nipple, 8 bits is equal to 1 byte, 4 bytes is equal to 1 word, 4 words is equal to 1024 bytes, 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte, after that, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte, hexabytes, hexabytes, zettabytes. Hi, I am Robo. My speed is one terabytes. My memory is one zettabytes. Before that, uh, we don't know the terminology of measuring the data in data science. Hey. So after uh, yesterday, I have searched in the Google. There are two more terminologies presented, such as 1024 gigabyte is equal to 1 protobyte, 1024 protobyte is equal to 1 geobyte, 1024 geobyte is equal to infinity. If you see same terminology in mathematical range, 1 kilobyte is equal to 10 power 3, megabyte is 6, gigabyte is 10 power 9, gigabyte is 10 12, petabyte is 15, exabyte is 10 to 18, zettabyte is 10 to 21, zettabyte is 10 to 24, protobyte is 10 to 27, neobyte is 10 to 30. So that means without data, there is no data based applications. So in an introduction to data science, what I am going to Fundamentals of data science, components of data science, workflow of data science, what are the various data science tools, data analytics with statistical methods, data analytics using artificial intelligence techniques, data analytics with data mining techniques, 
data analytics using artificial neural networks techniques data analytics using machine learning techniques data analytics using deep learning techniques if you see in python programming variables data types basic mathematics operator procedures string operations functions conditional statements classes and objects collections such as tuples lists dictionaries the loop statements file operations exceptions and advanced python programming uses various standard libraries such as numpy scipy pandas scikit-learn it is called scl matplotlib tiano tensorflow keras and pytorch then see the statistics how many types of data we are handling in real time environment fundamentals of statistics and operations like mean mode standard deviation statistical tools statistical techniques classification and the types like linear regression non linear regression statistic regression i am going to show you practicals by using this statistical techniques then uh, in artificial intelligence what i am going to cover introduction to artificial intelligence expert system nestar algorithm fuzzy logic and soft computing artificial neural networks single layer perception multi layer perception linear regression with the ann logistic regression with the ann convolutional neural network that is called cnn then in data mining three major concepts i am going to cover processing of data fundamentals of data mining data mining tools and techniques what are the classification types decision tree random forest the nearest neighbor support vector machine in clustering k means cluster in association with mining a priori algorithm frequent pattern growth algorithm then in artificial neural networks what is ann types of ann feed forward neural network back forward neural networks k nearest neighbor algorithm artificial neural networks what are the applications comes under artificial neural networks and uh, how do we can develop this facial changes face recognition applications by using generative adversarial networks that is called gans radial basis functional networks single layer perception multi layer perception self organizing networks in machine learning supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning so how do you differentiate supervised and unsupervised and reinforcement learning with various algorithms like linear regression logistic regression types of classification decision tree random forest nearest neighbor clustering means clustering included distance elbow method this is agglomerative clustering in reinforcement learning sarsa lambda state action reward state action with eligibility traces then dqn deep q network ddpg deep deterministic policy gradient a3c asynchronous advantage actor critic algorithm especially we are using this reinforcement learning in order to develop gaming applications then the last uh deep learning techniques what is deep learning deep learning versus machine learning data processing and analysis with python learn data processing and analysis with python deep learning applications how do we can use cnn an application for health data analytics recurrent neural networks light long short term memory networks deep learning and its applications in healthcare healthcare data analysis with python and the detection of covid-19 in x-ray images 
train to my detection ecg heart beat analysis using cnn how to apply it in healthcare example covid data brain tumor ecg and mri in the ct scan test then the last one augmented reality and virtual reality so what is this we have augmented and virtual reality differences between augmented and virtual reality basics of computer vision and the multimodal interaction augmented reality systems for fault inspection digital twin virtual reality system development in unity rendering real time sensor data in vr vr model human robot interaction using vr vr systems what are the applications and challenges these are the list of projects i have executed in my data science research laboratory i am going to share with you the coordinator is going to distribute for each student one topic you can implement i am going to demonstrate few applications today and you can select each application from your coordinator and take my number and email id and whatsapp number you can ask the doubts in order to implement each application by using python programming these are the various projects and these the applications we have developed in data science laboratory and uh, by using the libraries like python sql piano keras tensor flow total nine applications the last application this is very interesting application ai is make came using reinforcement learning how do we can develop this application i am going to demonstrate covid 19 detection using convolutional neural networks total 90 projects i have executed i think you are one of the students you can make presentations in various conferences and you can prepare journal papers and publish your book work i am going to help you so i am sharing this ppt to your coordinator he is going to share with you and select each topic from your coordinator roll number wise select i am going to show you demonstrate so the prerequisite of data science you must have knowledge of statistics mathematics any one program language so in statistics you must have inferential statistics descriptive statistics in mathematics algebra calculus any one program can be excel python or sql this is prerequisition of data science so this is prerequisition of data science it is my own diagram. my own analysis i have given i want style of the requisition of data science data is a raw material data may be a audio video fact image anything can be a raw material is called data once processed data is called information collection of interrelated data with the help of relational and non relational databases that is called a database collection of related data to manage and store the data in system server and data center with the help of various softwares like sql mysql teradata db2 ms access etc then combination of data and dbms is called database system storing of small amount of data in a server is called data mart that is called a subset of data warehousing 
collection of shoes volume of data and collection of OLAP, collection of data forms, OLAP stands for online and processing. Storing huge volume of data in a system server data center. This is called data warehousing. Once, Once we are storing huge volume of data, we are extracting meaningful interested patterns from the huge volume of data by applying classification, clustering, association rule mining, outer detection. That is called data mining. Deals with data sets like volume, velocity, variety. Volume says the size of the data, variety says the different file formats, and velocity says that the speed and motion of the file. You are uploading, downloading files. The final major in the industry is data science. Data science is the process of examining and extracting meaningful insights by applying machine learning, deep learning, statistical, scientific methods. That is called the data science. This is my own definition of data science. Can anyone answer in the chat box? What is the technical name of this image? What is the technical name of this image? Can anyone give answer? Can I see your answer in the chat box? See, how do you criticize about the Krishna Chaitanya Engineering College? Through pamphlets, through dashboards, through banners, SMS, Gmail. So being a computer and IT student, this is one more way of publicizing about the Krishna Chaitanya Engineering College. The technical name of this image is called, see here the answer, data science put out. I have incorporated everything, programming, algorithm, solving, knowledge, structure, process, system, utilization. Everything I have incorporated in this image is called a food cloud. Then, today I am going to explain what is data science and what is the creation of data science, solving problems with data science, what are the data science tools and techniques, what are the data science knobs, need of data science. If you see, data is a central to data science. Without the data, there is no database application. So data are many types, like uh, numeric data, character data, floating point data, audio data, video data, streaming data, etc. So that's why data is central to data science. There are two types of data. Categorical data, Numerical data. Categorical data, examples, marital status, single, array, two, etc. That comes under categorical data. Political party, Congress, liberation, SRCP. This is example for categorical data. Eye color, blue eye, black eye, red eye. These are the different examples of categorical data. If you see numerical data, again, we are classifying into two types, discrete and continuous. Discrete is nothing but number of children, defects per hour. First, we are counting items. It is not continuous. That is called a discrete data. Continuous data. See, sometimes our age, our weight is continuously growing, our age also continuously growing. Old age also growing. So these are the measured characteristics are called continuous data. How do you collect the data? There are various tools and techniques collection of data. Through interviews, they are collecting the data. Through observation, they are collecting the data. Through surveys, we are collecting the data. Through uses, we are collecting the data. Focus groups, we are collecting the data. 
data science is a combination of scientific methods mathematics statistics advanced computing visualization hacker mindset domain expertise data engineering so data science is a process of examining extracting meaningful interested patterns preparing data for analysis including cleansing the data aggregating the data and manipulating the data to perform advanced data analysis okay analytic applications and data scientists can then review the results uncover patterns hidden patterns and enable business leaders to draw informed insights first we are collecting there are seven steps in order to process the data science collection and acquisition of data storage of cleansing the data that means we are eliminating noisy redundant data then integration of the data then we are analyzing the data preparation and visualization then finally we are taking actions in that way what is data science data science is a interdisciplinary field that uses various scientific methods statistical methods like linear regression nonlinear regression logistic regression and processes algorithms and system to extract knowledge the insights from the noisy structured or unstructured data that apply knowledge the actionable insights from data across a broad range of different domains there are three types of data i will explain differences between structured data and unstructured data semi structured data so why do we need to study data science what are the importance of data science in order to improve the business we are using this data science tools and techniques and uh, what are the data science is widely used in various industry domains including marketing healthcare finance banking policy work and more software tools used in data science advanced python tools like tensorflow is a framework jupyter is a editor and tableau excel scikit natural language tool kit matplotlib power bi where this, this data is coming what are the data science sources so data is everywhere and it can help organizations any industry in any different ways data has become too complex and too dynamic to be able to process the data storing the data analyzing the data and manage with the traditional data tools traditional data tools examples SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, MS Access. These are the relational database tools. What are the non-relational database tools? Mongo database, Hive, HBase, Scoop, etc. Data sources are social network data, financial data, multimedia data, mobile apps data, Internet of Things. data from enterprise research planning system data my, microphones data data in health data in marketing sensor media data social media data public data these are the data sources for data science what is the data science workflow see first step we are capturing the data we are managing and cleansing the data exploratory analysis means we are classifying the data and finally we are analysis of the data and finally we are reporting data with the help of dashboards scorecards uh one chart pie chart etc and these are the steps i have explained first we are capturing the data managing the data exploratory analysis 
and final analysis reporting the data. See, data science also, in another way, business understanding, that means problem understanding, data understanding, data importing, data cleansing and manipulation, statistical modeling and machine learning, and finally reporting and visualizing. So this is the workflow of data science. So these are the commercial characteristics of data science. Business understanding, intuition. Intuition is nothing but needs to pick the right model, right technique, right tool. Curiosity. So data science is not a new field. It has been there before also, but the progress being made in this very fast. These are the commercial characteristics. If you see the uh, actual data science characteristics, volume is a characteristic of data science. Data volume is the, what is the size of the data? Megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, petabytes. And data variety means different files we are handling in in the real-time the data may be audio, video, text, graphics, animation, etc. Data velocity is nothing but the speed and motion of the data. Whether we are handling real-time data, near-time data, and periodic data, batch processing data, and uh, legacy and old data. So those are the uh, characteristics of data science. So why do I want to study data science? See, if you are having new data, it leads to the more knowledge. More knowledge leads to the more money. Why all big events is focusing on towards data science in order to increase their business, in order to increase their Finance. So today I'm going to explain the introduction to data science. It is a process of examining large amounts of data of variety of types that may be a big data to uncover hidden patterns, unknown correlations, and other useful information. So that's why we are focusing on data science. So more knowledge leads to better customer engagement and fraud prevention and new products. Sir, why do I want to learn data science? There are five reasons. It is a fuel for 21st century, problem of demand and supply, a lucrative career, data science is changing the world, data science is future. So, this data science is better informed decisions. We are getting very good analytics. Based on that analysis, we are taking the decision. I want to increase my business. I want to spread across the world my business. That's why data science is available to any company and any industry. So these are the few more. Why do I want to use data science? Following are the sectors where data science has proved its importance, especially finance market, e-commerce business like Flipkart and Amazon. See, in, in Amazon Flipkart, you are searching for iPhone. Today, tomorrow automatically it is showing iPhone other uh, mobiles. That means they are capturing your behavior based on the behavior mining techniques. Recommend our engine. Based on the recommend our engine, it is showing your behavior for interest. That is comes under e-commerce business applications. Advertisement, search engines, transportation, healthcare, forecasting, banking and securities, education, any commercial applications, any communication channels, manufacturing, 
media and entertainment, and image and speech, text recognition. These are the various sectors. So, data science models, these are the steps. Raw data collected from the real time environment. Data is processed, cleansing the data. Then, exploratory data analysis means classification of the data. Then, we are preparing models with the help of algorithms. Then, communicating, utilizing reports. And uh, finally, we are taking decisions. So, what is the purpose of data science? We are extracting the data, we are analyzing the data, and gathering insight from the data. So, Facebook alone generates more than 1000 terabytes of data daily. What about JPS and stock market exchange? How many terabytes of data per day they are releasing? Data science is a collection of data sets which is so large and complex that it is difficult to handle using traditional tools like MDMS tools, relational data. So, there are three types of data structured data, unstructured data, semi structured data. Structured data is with the help of schema, table, relation, we are creating the table with the help of deep, uh, SQL, MySQL, Teradata, DB2, etc. That is called the structured data. Unstructured data is nothing but the data is a raw, raw material, it is unorganized, it varies in its content and it can change from entry to entry. So there is no schema, there is no relation, there is no table. The type of data is called unstructured data. Example, audio, video, text, graphics, social media, etc. Semi-structured data, combination of 50% of XML data and 50% of unstructured data. That is called semi-structured data. So data analytics is nothing but we are generating with the help of various classification, clustering, association, we are generating trusted analytics. So that is called data analytics. And uh, if you see the definition of data analytics, data analytics is the process of analyzing raw data in order to make conclusions, decisions about the information. That is called data analytics. Example, who is the richest person in the globe? Immediately we are saying Elon Musk. So how do you find that answer? If you search in the Google, who is the richest person? Immediately it is displaying Elon Musk. That is interested question. Data analytics is nothing but the process of analyzing raw data in order to make conclusions. If you see the data analytics, six major concepts. First, we are understanding the business, understanding the problem. Data exploration means classification of the data. Data preparation and data modeling means simplified version of the reality. Data evaluation, help of various validation metrics, tools and techniques. Deployment. Finally, we are deploying our product into the market. So, why data analytics is gaining high in the 21st century? Because huge volume of data is present in everywhere. That's why all the companies moving towards big data and various data sets. Okay. And uh, these are the five steps. First, we are collecting the data from various sources and measuring the data from collected data. Analyze, analyze the process for issues and the root causes. Then fourth step, improve, determine and implement improvement actions. Finally, control, help to system with improved information. Then uh, you make a doubt, sir. 
who are use case who are using the data science see here amazon as an example google facebook uber bank booking.com and swarovski nasa and airbnb sleep box these many big agencies are using data science tools techniques what is the structure of data science see there are three types tier 1 tier 2 tier 3 tier 1 is a data sources maybe a data input maybe it is structured data structured data so big data analytics you can choose any tools and techniques like hive app reduce hadoop cluster python gitlab etc the final tier is in order to show the dashboards pie chart bar chart score cards reports queries intelligent database that is called the tier 3 So, what are the data file formats? Daily, we are viewing, visualizing. See here, audio, text, graphics, photos, logs, click trails, text messages, emails, documents, books, transaction, public records, flat files. Can anyone give answer for flat files? What is the example for flat files? Excel and PDF. and uh, spreadsheet microsoft office packages then uh, sql files db2 mysql teradata ms access etc these are the various file formats we are studying for data science so data science is an interdisciplinary field that uses scientific methods process algorithms and systems to extract knowledge and insights from many structural and unstructural data and uh, data science is a combination of various subjects like visualization statistical modeling statistical computing data technology data research data consulting real world application scientific methods so data science is also called as data driven science and uh, sometimes it is also called as knowledge discovery in database so it uses scientific thinking statistical methods computer engineering innovative technology etc so data science is five steps we need capturing the data maintaining the data processing the data analyzing the data finally communicating with the end users so data science is a very disciplinary subject like data mining database and data processing machine learning utilization statistics pattern recognition asal nokta ada word jeli che da avu data mining che avu bonda yo these are the various subjects that it is called a subject how do use current i become data scientist by knowing all the subjects like database and process statistics machine learning visualization data mining i am going to become data scientist so what is the data science life cycle business problem understanding data collection data cleansing preparation exploratory data analysis feature engineering machine learning model evaluation finally data visualization these are the major components of data science first data exploration means consumes the data modeling simplified version of the reality by using machine learning algorithms testing the model by using testing performance of the model deploying models once we complete डेप्लॉयमेंट इज नथिंग बट वंस 
a product is completed we are we are deploying that product into the market that is called deployment models if you see the major component of data science you know data data is a raw material maybe a structured data semi structured data unstructured data then big data so big data is a enormously big data sets like volume variety variety listen value etc next component machine learning machine learning is nothing but learning from the observational data there are three approaches supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning and the fourth one is statistics and probability the numerical foundation of data science is insight in likelihood that is called statistics and probability programming languages like java python and javascript any one language so you need to have knowledge in data strategy data engineering data visualization and optimization data analysis models so the task done by the data scientist and data analyst data analyst will perform business administration task data exploration analysis and insight whereas data scientist is is performing including data analyst task and is applying advanced algorithms and machine learning algorithms and data product and the data scientist requirements what are the requirements top primary skills you need to have data analysis or python data mining machine learning what is the highest educational qualification bachelor's degree 20% Master's forty two percent and thirty eight percent PhD. Top education backgrounds: computer science, business administration, statistics, mathematics, physics. And industry growth every year two times jobs are increasing. Data scientists are increasing. Top industries employ data scientists. especially it industry, industry and services internet computer software education banking and financial services if you see data science tools the first tool is a statistical analysis software apache spark big machine learning d3 dot java script Mat matlab excel gz plat 2 tableau jupiter matplotlib hello my voice is audible hello sir hello sir yes sir it's audible yes sir it's audible okay okay important data science tools yes, you must you must know apache hadoop hadu, tensor flow flow framework in order, in order to process ai ai machine learning topic learning applications we are using tensor flow in python python, python coming coming apache spark with big data data tool Hadoop is also, is also big data, data tool. MATLAB, Matrix Lab Library for uh, especially image processing, processing. Matrix related, related data. data. Then SAS, the statistical analysis software like SPSS, statistical package for social science. Tableau for visualization purpose, we are using Tableau tool. Matplotlib. Other to generate the graphs, we are using Matplotlib. Big ML. Another to process the machine learning for big data sets. Vega is a data analysis tool. Okay. Any doubt? Samsung sir, if students have any doubt, let them ask.
no doubts okay then uh, these are the data sets tools for small business google analytics excel burst crazy this matrix split sense inside square tableau tipco software their story data these are the small scale industries that are using the small tools these are not big data tools if you see data science tools tableau excel rapid fire data robot the tableau is a visualization tool excel is a very known statistical tool rapid fire it is a data mining tool data robot it is a automation tool click view it is a automation tool h2o artificial intelligence tool tensor flow is a framework in advanced python programming pgml in order to process the big data sets snowflake data warehousing tool pyfacta data warehousing tool these are the data science top 10 algorithms first starts with linear regression logistic regression precision tree mean based classification k nearest neighbor algorithm support vector machine k means clustering principal component analysis neural networks random forest i am going to demonstrate now these algorithms so once uh, you have knowledge on data science like any one programming language like python or java any data visualization like tableau power bi matplotlib gzplot cborn these are for generating graphs we are using these are packages ide which ide are you comfortable integrated development environment pycharm jupiter collaboratory spider r studio for automation web scraping web scraping we are using beautiful scope scraping url lib then uh, deploying once completed we are deploying in amazon web services ms azure so mathematics you need to have knowledge of statistics linear algebra differential calculus data analysis feature engineering data wrangling exploratory data analysis then machine learning classification regression reinforcement learning deep learning clustering dimensional to reduction these are the top 10 algorithms i have explained already starts with linear regression and ends with a priori algorithm so these are various tools for data store we are using mysql mongo database kafka hadoop so these tools are joins what rdbms do for time for transformation if you change the way you look at things the things you look at change by using spark hadoop sql python for modeling purposes we are using python sklearn pandas spark etc for visualization purposes we are using gzplot tborn tableau d3 etc for other uh, tools by like kafka okay and the communication purpose we are using so data science minimum you need to have statistics knowledge practical skills team player skills lifelong learning skills communication skills real world project skills machine learning skills data visualization skills data wrangling and pre processing and the coding skills like python and r skills a data scientist has data mining data research analytics machine learning python r data analysis so what are the responsibilities between data scientist and data engineer if you see difference between data scientist versus data engineer so data scientist is developing constructing testing and maintain architectures 
whereas the data engineers conduct the research to answer industry or business questions then second point ensure architecture will support the requirements of the business so here leverage large volumes of data from internal and external sources to answer the business the third point discover opportunities for data acquisition here employ sophisticated analytics programs machine learning and statistical methods prepared data for use in predictive and the prescriptive modeling then fourth point develop data set processes for data modeling mining and production whereas uh, explore and examine data to find hidden patterns then fifth law fifth point employ a variety of languages and the tools like scripting languages or two mra system together whereas in the automate work through the use of predictive and the prescriptive analytics the final step recommend ways to improve data reliability efficiency and quality whereas in the last one tell stories to key stakeholders based on their analysis so what are the skills required by a data scientist 70 to 80 percent statistics 70 to 80 percent predictive modeling 10 to 15 percent machine learning 30 percent of text mining 5 percent visualization so these are the steps are required my journey to become a data scientist you need to have knowledge and substantive expertise like marketing statistics traditional research data science includes machine learning hacking and coding data engineering skills so these are the applications especially we are using image recognition speech recognition internet search price comparison websites gaming delivery logistics digital advertisement recommend our system fraud and risk detection these are the application domains e-commerce manufacturing banking healthcare transportation finance these are the application areas of data science fraud and risk detection image and speech recognition healthcare augmented reality airline route planning so data science real life use cases what sells most ice creams learning to ski recognizing defects using suggestions to make better decisions these are the top 25 algorithms being a computer science and it student you must know it searching algorithms sorting algorithms graph based algorithms basic algorithms arrays related algorithms and uh, why python is so popular can anyone give answer uh, in the chat box why, why python is so popular what is the reason can anyone uh, give a answer in the chat box okay python is popular because of rich number of libraries packages okay that's why python is so popular irrespective of domains these are the data science schools mat matlab apache spark and excel tableau tensorflow azure language toolkit dgml jupyter d3t dot javascript and the data science cases who are using amazon why amazon using see Am amazon increases their uh, digital market so improving e-commerce experience that's why amazon is using data science then uber 
why uber is using data science to optimize rides then why, why bank, bank of america is, is using data science increasing customer experience then why air is using data science improving searches likewise data science in pharmaceutical industries predictive modeling for retaining oil and gas supply data science in biotechnology data science in education data science uses internet searches healthcare speech recognition targeted advertising image recognition fraud and risk detection price comparison websites product delivery online dating predictive systems what are the advantages of data science so data science can be fun multiple job designations ease of job hunting customize the products a highly paid career cost optimization a is the future then what are the future advantages highly paid career higher demands right future multiple job profiles and what are the disadvantages complexity less accuracy no data security see in this diagram how do you learn self right to become a data analyst or data scientist data analyst skills what are the roles he collects the data processes the data and performs statistical data analysis and the skills and talents spreadsheet tools like excel database system tools sql and no sql based communication visualization maths statistics machine learning then mindset intuitive data thinking with the high crowd competition portion so in the data analytics we need to have knowledge in data mining data infrastructure data visualization decision analysis in decision analysis optimization methods operations research management science spreadsheet analytics okay if you see is self guide to becoming a data analyst <coughs> you need to have maths and statistics excel python programming sql and the database power bi tableau data preparation and visualization exploratory analysis and modeling machine learning libraries data storage so most in demand jobs in data science after completion of my slides you will get a knowledge on various tools and techniques so definitely will become as a data scientist or data analyst or machine learning engineer or data architect data engineer business intelligence developer so few more jobs like decision scientist statistician data engineer data architect ml engineer data science manager data scientist these are the few more jobs fastest growing tech tech occupations see first data engineer 50% according to the gartner survey back end developer 38% senior data scientist 32% crm customer relation man, relationship management crm developer 29% user interface developer 24% python developer 22% android developer 22% devops engineer 21% front end developer 21% cloud architect 16% so how to become a data scientist you need to have knowledge in statistics programming skills machine learning data management communication skills so careers i have explained all the types of careers and the career options so you will become a bi 
business intelligence developer data architect database administrator data and analytics manager data analyst data scientist big data engineer machine learning engineer statistician fundamental data skills functional analyst data analyst data driven manager data scientist data system developer so these are the areas like social network telecommunication computational sports science and health smart business city planning powered electricity so real time big data management stream mining and analytics text processing and machine learning simulation and modeling and information visualization there are various researches smart shopping travel by data analytics internet of things for precision health medical adherence real time data warehousing a new framework for high speed data mining cyber bullying detection social media location forecasting function in power supply pricing and adapting next generation networks etc so in data analytics using statistical methods i am going to demonstrate now statistical methods like linear regression non linear regression logistic regression by using this we are predicting the data these are the top 10 algorithms in the statistical methods linear regression resampling methods classification simplification dimension reduction non linear models unsupervised learning support vector machine tree based methods offset selection then the data analytics using artificial techniques we are using artificial techniques in order to find out automated applications these are the techniques we are using machine learning techniques deep learning techniques statistical techniques various techniques call it as ai techniques the third one is data analytics using data mining techniques we are using clustering association rule mining data cleansing and uh, uh, frequent pattern mining algorithm priori algorithm etc these are the data mining tools anomaly detection association learning clustering analysis classification analysis regression analysis choice modeling rule induction neural networks so data analytics using artificial neural networks what are the artificial neural networks techniques we are using in order to generate interested analytics learning paradigms and learning algorithms topologies we are using learning paradigm supervised learning unsupervised learning reinforcement learning algorithm learning algorithms like conjugate gradient bashi network cps dc topology single layer network multi layer network network with one one recurrent layer the final one data analytics machine learning techniques we are using various machine learning approaches like supervised run supervised and reinforcement learning it can be broken down into seven major steps first we are collecting the data and pre preparing the data choosing a model training the model evaluating the model parameter tuning marketing predictions these are the machine learning techniques like clustering technique classification technique regression technique control gaming gaming application so if you see in reinforcement learning classification we can do semi supervised learning we can do clustering and classification unsupervised learning we can do clustering and regression reduction supervised learning regression and classification comes under supervised learning the last one data analytics using deep learning techniques so in this deep learning technique you require huge volume of data 
and various uh, data deep learning techniques like dnn tnn rnn and q learning td learning gradient descent monte carlo method recurrent neural network deep q networks these are the various uh, deep learning techniques whereas the machine learning reinforcement learning provides a general framework for sequential decision making on multi dimensional programming paradigms these are the 12 highest paying programming jobs right now in the market data scientist ml engineer software engineer cloud engineer devops specialist penetration tester blockchain specialist database developer front end developer back end developer full stack developer mobile developer so these are the research issues in data science according to gartner survey multiple data sources it is a issue data security is a issue lack of clarity on business problem it is a issue undefined key performance indicators and metrics like there are various uh, research issues on data science according to gartner survey challenges of science data science dirty data 49.4% lack of data science talent 41.6 lack of management financial support 37% likewise there are various aspects of data science research in data science analytics business data driven artificial intelligence in data science we are studying theory methods and technology so we required visualization machine learning information technology and uh, social science informatics and computer science statistics and mathematics what is the future of data science in algorithms we are using massive scale growth using spatial temporal analytics hyper fast analytics embedded deep learning cognitive machine learning natural language generation structured data generation cyber security health care internet of things customer engagement things part everything human capital data for social good these are the future of data science problems in handling data never ending growth of data increase demand for data science popularity of company emerging sources of data increase in data science rules clearly defined scope of data science <coughs> creation of more jobs normalize data science education advancements in machine learning to bolster data science <coughs> this is a summary i have explained on various terminology various uh, jargon of data science so up to this one i am concluding uh, uh, the complete fundamental data science now i am moving towards practical session okay before going to practical session if you are having if you are having mobile or laptop please open all of you two minutes first install python software it takes only 2 to 3 minutes so i am going to show you uh, how to install a python programming just go into the google there you type python python software you can type you will get first link you can click click and download that uh, 70 mb or uh, 50 mb file is there 34 mb then install uh, make sure that you can select a uh, add path while uh, window will appear while uh, installing you can select a tick box you can select a tick box so that gives us automatic path it can recognize through command prompt 
that's why you need to select add part tick mark now once you successfully installed python now i am going to demonstrate various applications please see here uh, suppose if you are having mobile please subscribe my channel uh, just go to youtube all of you do one minute just to go to youtube type my name dr asad srinivas lu like this i am showing you you type youtube like this or if you are in the system or if you are in the mobile phone please open your mobile phone or your laptop if you are connected to internet please click this one dr asad srinivas you can type you will get uh, my channel please subscribe now only few students only few only few students subscribe now okay you, uh, once sir uh, you installed successfully python programming just go python to run command type cmd command prompt hello sir my screen is visible please acknowledge me Yes, sir. It's visible. Yes, sir. It's visible. Yeah, you can type Python. Once installed successfully, it will show you Python version 3.10.5. I'm using 3.10.5. So you can perform basic operations. A is equal to three. B is equal to two. Okay. B is equal to two. Then C is equal to A plus B. See the result. See. Five. So this is command prompt. You can work. Uh, I want to run application, big application. So I am going to scripting way. The Python can be executed in two ways. One is command prompt, and one more is scripting way. I am going to show you scripting way. See here. This is called scripting way. I am writing in Python here. Okay, okay through through not bad. See, See, I have, I have done, done many programs. See, how many programs I have done in Python? Many programs I have executed. Echo is coming. I don't know where uh, the echo is. Okay. So now. See, I have executed various uh, applications. Now I clear the screen. Okay. Um, let me check. First, I am going to execute the linear regression. So linear regression is a statistical method to predict the future values. See, I have successfully executed. I have generated a graph. Now I am going to show you here uh, the code of uh, linear regression. The code of linear regression. My screen is visible, sir. Echo is coming. So first input numpy as SP. Numpy is a packet from SQL. SQL is a packet. From there, I am 
deriving linear product, import linear regression, import matplotlib for generating a Fabian using matplotlib, then I uh, am taking the uh, x value. Uh, like 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. Before uh, reshaping NumPy, I'm printing as it is. So NP dot X is equal to NP dot array. 5, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55. Dot reshape of minus 1, comma 1. After reshaping, that means all uh, columns becomes rows, rows becomes columns. Then print while. Then I'm directly I'm using model is equal to linear regression, model uh, dot fit of x comma y. So I'm uh, using x-axis, y-axis values. I'm finding the mean square error that is called the r underscore sq model square. Then print the quotient of determination, intercept value. So y is equal to mx plus c. So I'm predicting here. Uh, I predict value by using x values. So I'm printing I predict value and I'm uh, displaying the graph. See here, LT dot LT of x comma. So this is the way you can execute. See now, very simple. Here is the screen Python linear dot p by. This is the way you can execute. Okay. And uh, next to the nonlinear regression. Python nonlinear dot. This is one more statistical technique. I'm generated graph. See here, I have I have taken x-axis and y-axis values. Next. Uh, logistic regression Python logistic dot py. These are the methods. This is the graph I can generate. Okay. This is the graph. These are the values predicted by using logistic regression. Various options are available. So if you want, I can show you through PowerPoint presentation. Various applications I have demonstrated. First, uh, see the These three applications I have uh, executed. Linear regression. This is the code I have. Uh, this is the code I have explained now. This is related to linear regression. This is the graph I have created. Multiple uh, linear regression. This is the code. Very simple code. I, I'll explain each and every term because I may not cover the remaining things. Uh, this is the graph I have created. Then last. Uh, logistic regression is the code. This is the this is the graph. Okay. And now why it is coming? That's why I don't know.
hello and a few more events i'm going to show you So this is the one more application. K nearest scale parametric using Python. So I am going to show you this execution. Please see here. K n dot. I am going to show you. Yeah, next COVID nineteen virus detection. So in the symptoms collected, the symptoms. These are the X-ray images of the person, and this is the algorithm, and uh, this is the training data set. This is the algorithm. This is the code, CNN code. This is the corona testing. Data set, CNN model. This is the final output we are getting. Number of epochs, execution flow, data loss versus accuracy, execution time, then COVID-19 strain. Okay. So I can continue uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Please bear with me. I'm going to execute. So this is a, just I'm showing. After that, I'm going to demonstrate. This is a COVID-19 strain virus, student virus. I have collected data, nearly thousand images. This is a training data set, and um, I have applied RNN technique. This is the code. And finally, I am detecting test X ray image of COVID 19 strain, virus, and severity levels. Then, prostate cancer detection. These are the symptoms are collected of prostate cancer. These are the images of prostate cancer input data, CNN model. This is a training data set. Finally, it is recognizing whether it is a prostate cancer or normal image. Then breast cancer data. So breast cancer symptoms are have collected and breast X-ray images are have collected. All breast cancer data set I have collected. Then uh, it is a training a training data set. And finally, we are identifying whether it is a breast cancer chest X-ray image or not. This is the code I have used. I am going to share with uh, uh, Dr. Sham. He will uh, share with you. You can execute and you can ask any doubts related to this project. This is the code. This is the way we are running the breast cancer final execution using CNN model. Then lung cancer detection. Lung cancer symptoms we are collecting. Then these are the lung cancer chest X-ray images we have collected. This is a lung cancer training data set. This is X-ray of lung cancer versus normal image of final. Then Ebola virus detection. So these are the symptoms we have collected from Ebola virus. Symptoms like headache, heat, abdominal pain, sore throat, rash. These are the symptoms of Ebola virus. Very deadly dangerous. Uh, vomiting, abdominal, diarrhea, etc. 
Ebola virus training data set, CNN model, Ebola data set using RNN. This is the algorithm I get. Finally, the Ebola virus or not, it is recognizing. Okay. And uh, see a few more applications I'm going to run here. Now, Python ANN.py means artificial neural networks. I'm executing on a health data application. So, ANN application. My screen is visible? Hello, sir. My screen is visible? Hello, sir. My, my screen is visible? Yes, sir. It's visible, sir. Carry on. Yeah. 93.38 accuracy. I got it. See, if you want to see the code, not bad. ANN.py, artificial neural networks on health data analytics. CSV file I have taken. Okay. So, so in that, that CSV file, we are executing health data analytics. Okay. And uh, now see K nearest neighbor algorithm Python. KNN dot PY. K nearest algorithm. See, 68.51 accuracy I got it. Total 168. Uh, 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 total 168 data instances are there. So you can uh, you can classify the data based on your data set. K nearest neighbor algorithm. Okay. And now see, I'm executing one more uh, algorithm called support vector machine. Python svm.py support vector machine. See, 100% accuracy I got classification on heart, heart disease data. I have taken health related data, heart patient data I have taken. I have executed this one. So, how many instances? Zero indicates false, one indicates correctly classified. So, it has been correctly classified. Okay. So, support vector machine. This is called a support vector machine. TLS, Python, Armora, STM, 1.ty. Python, SVM2, one more run. See, same application I have run with the other data set. So, heartbeat data and diabetes data. And uh, I have taken various Excel sheets. I have calculated precision, recall, F1 score, support. Etc. I got accuracy 62.29, precision 5. Okay, 0 0.5. So now I am going to execute. CD space COVID-19. Okay. See, you can check in the COVID-19. Set. I am going to show you how many images I have taken. I am going to show you how many data sets I have taken. See here. Folder you can check. I'm showing 
covid uh, images how many images i have taken please see here these are the images i have taken and uh, sample test so now i am running the application see here python cnn dot t1 it is going to classify the data now the application is running okay now see here now it is running the background it takes 2 minutes So application is running now. If you are having system, please subscribe my channel. Only ten students has uh, subscribed now. There are uh, one fifty students are there. You can subscribe my channel and take my details from the. Dr. Samson sir, and uh, like this you can execute all the programs. Nearly sixty applications I have executed, and ninety projects I am giving to your uh, coordinator. He is going to share with you. Okay, now the application is running. Now see one more. Uh, Omicron data set or monkeypox. See Omicron data. Also, I am going to execute. See how many images I have taken. Many images I have taken. Omicron, Omicron data set. This is Omicron data set. Okay, and. Uh, This is a two photos are great testing and training. Testing and training. Testing and training. I have selected. See here, uh, so many images are there in training data set. You can see various images. Okay, now application is running. See here, sir. My screen is visible, sir. Hello, sir. My screen is visible. Hello, sir. Sir, screen screen is visible, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay, and uh, ask any doubts. Now I am going to show you monkeypox latest. Sir, uh, I am asking one one uh, one question, sir. Yeah, yeah. Please ask me, sir. Sir, uh, what are the major uh, uh, differences between uh, the machine learning and uh, 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 deep learning uh, techniques? Very good, sir. Very good question. So, the in machine way. learning, we are using three approaches like uh, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. In supervised learning, means there is a label, there is a target class. We are classifying the data. Example: classification techniques. Okay, like. Uh, you you can have Bayesian classification, decision tree classification, support vector classification, random forest classification. Unsupervised learning means there is no label, there is no target class, but we are classifying the data 
Based on the similarity measure. It comes under clustering. K means clustering, RGC means clustering, etc. Reinforcement learning is nothing but based on the punishment and reward. We are solving the applications. We are, we are solving the game applications. So that is reinforcement learning. So those comes under machine learning algorithms. Deep learning algorithms, we need to use more number of input and hidden layers. So convolution neural networks, recurrent neural networks, deep neural networks, long shorter neural networks, and various frameworks like TensorFlow, Keras, XGBoost, ResNet, Google Net, and the Theano, Kitox, Keras, NumPy. These are the deep learning algorithms. Are you clear, sir? Yeah, okay. Any doubts? Sir, one more question I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah please, please ask me, sir. Sir, sir uh, where available uh, data set? Yeah. yeah, very, very good, good question, sir. And, uh, what is your name? Sir? What, what is your name, sir? Dr. Altavishan Basha. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, these data sets, you can download from UCI website and a Kaggle website or GitHub website. I'll give you the complete list of uh, repositories. You can download from the internet or otherwise I'll give you a direct link from my channel. You can download and execute. Any doubts, please ask me, sir. I'm going to execute all uh, COVID-19 prediction detection application. Now, Omicron prediction detection application and monkeypox prediction detection, various uh, health applications I have executed. Yes, sir. UCI, Kaggle, and uh, these are the three repositories. Even Google database, Amazon database, you can download various images of uh, health data. This is monkeypox. This is monkeypox data set. After execution of this one, I am going, going to execute the Omicron virus prediction and monkeypox prediction. Sir, ask one more doubt. Any doubt, doubt sir? sir? Hello, sir. Alta, sir. sir. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, students, uh, you can ask any doubts because of time. I am unable to execute uh, many programs. There are uh, many programs I have executed. Now, just now we have seen linear regression, non-linear regression, logistic regression, support vector machine, ARS name algorithm, ANN algorithm, and CNN uh, algorithm. Now I am going to show you RNN algorithm. Still, this program is running here. Any, Any doubts? doubts? Sir, please unmute them, sir. Alta, sir, unmute them. Let them ask any queries. Okay, okay, sir. Samsung, uh, sir? Samsung, sir? Samsung, sir? Uh, students will ask the questions right. Uh, okay. yes, sir, yes, students yes. will ask the questions now. Yes, Sir, I am going to share with you uh, 91 projects with me. You can make the groups, let them prepare the, their own conference paper, journal paper. And they have to show to HOD and Samsung, sir. And if, if they get any doubts, you give my details to them. I am going to demonstrate uh, in their systems through virtually. I can connect them and I can execute them. Yeah, yeah, please, please ask, ask me any doubts related to uh, data science. Any, any doubts? Something, sir? To ask the. Nobody is responding, sir. Uh, 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 yeah.
प्रसाद है कमी हेलो प्लीज आस्क मे एनी डाउट एनी डाउट हेलो सर सर आता सर एनी डाउट सर आता सर नो स्टूडेंट इज कामचंद सर सर वन स्टूडेंट इज गोइंग टू आस्क द क्वेश्चन सर ओके टेल मी कोरी वन स्टूडेंट हैव वन क्वेरी सर या या प्लीज फर्स्ट यू नीड टू कलेक्ट द डेटा देन अप्लाई दी प्रॉन्सिंग टेक्निक्स द डेटा विल बिकम इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके so once you are uh, applying any prediction algorithms like linear regression non linear regression logistic regression or svm random forest just now i have executed so you will get one model that model will predict the results whether it is correctly classified or not classified so that is called the model classified of the data very good question okay, very good question the data mining application there are various applications can execute paper pen and data sir yeah please ask me one more doubt uh, sir uh, we have one more question sir yeah yeah please ask me uh. so can we uh, can we implement the data mining applications in uh, machine learning sir yes very good question in data mining we are having three approaches like classification clustering association rule mining outlier detection recommend or engine those algorithms you can execute in machine learning also very good okay. question by using python just now i have demonstrated now the okay. still application is running cnn covid 19 prediction see here 30 steps i have kept Okay. Very yes, good sir. question. Very good question. Sir, one more question from student side, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please ask me. The difference between data science and machine learning. Very good question, Amma. So, data science. Includes various technologies, various tools, irrespective of domain. Machine learning, see, it, it learns learning from the observational data. It uses only supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning, and uh, only particular domains. Whereas data science is the process of extracting meaningful, interested patterns. by applying statistical and uh, scientific methods we are solving various data science applications you can call it as a machine learning com comes under data science it is a subset data science is a big board data science uses machine learning tools and techniques deep learning tools and techniques statistical tools and techniques scientific methods and tools and techniques mathematics statistics etc 
so that is called that is a difference between data science versus machine learning data science tools are different and machine learning tools are different okay but uh, machine learning comes under data science it is a subset of artificial intelligence very good question keep it up any yeah, other questions sir one more question from student side yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. please let them ask sir could you please tell me how we extract the knowledge from data mining and can you please yeah. suggest suitable data mining techniques very good very good question see data mining is nothing but process of extracting meaningful knowledge very good in your class suppose 60 students are there now i would like to extract who are the toppers from the 60 students it is very easy to extract from the 60 students. But uh, in India wide, I want to extract that uh, uh, meaningful data. So there may be a noisy data, inconsistent data. So what I'm doing, I'm, I'm applying pre-processing techniques, extracting meaningful data, avoiding noisy data, inconsistent data, by applying pre-processing techniques like a box plot, binning, etc. In order to classify the data, I'm using support vector machine, decision tree, decision classification. So I'm, uh, I'm extracting various features. Suppose face recognition application, I'm extracting features like uh, this forehead distance, uh, distance between mouth and the nose, moles on the face, like that I am extracting features. Th that is called knowledge. Finally, I am recognizing that uh, uh, image is recognized or not. Very good question. Keep it up. Any other questions? Sir, from the student side. Sir, one more question yeah, from yeah. the student side. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, please. What are the essential skills of data scientists? Yeah. You need to have a statistical knowledge, you need to have uh, any mathematics knowledge and any one programming language called Python or Java. Why I am preferring Python? It, it contains various number of uh, packages are there like Kera, TensorFlow, uh, you can call it as a GCPlot2, okay, Cbon, Tiano, PyTorch, NumPy, Pandas, a scikit learn. These are the packages are available. Any one programming language is required. And uh, you need to have uh, uh, tools like uh, data analysis tools, make a rapid maker, and uh, automation tools. Any tool you can have H2O. Okay. And uh, minimum qualification you need to have BTEC. And uh, you need to have knowledge and basics of mathematics, data mining knowledge, machine learning knowledge, deep learning knowledge. These are the requirements of uh, data scientist skills. Very good question. Sir, one more question, sir, from student side. Uh, yeah, yeah, please. Sir, is there any other programming language like Python to implement data mining functionality, sir? Very good question. Java. Java is evergreen. In Java contains advanced Java. You can have n number of packages. Same like Python. How many packages are there in Python? Same way Java. Advanced Java. Go for advanced Java. Fantastic packages are available. Okay? Java is next alternative of Python. Very good question. Next, any other questions? See here, accuracy, I got it. 97.5 for a COVID-19 virus prediction and detection. And like this, I can execute a, now Omicron. Now see here, I'm going to execute Omicron. Now same, same like Python cnn.py it takes it takes time you can ask queries now the program is running 
now tell me any questions sir samson sir altaf sir sir i am asking yes. one uh, one question sir yes sir sir uh, uh, our students uh, now doing a uh, community service project sir yes uh community service project uh, yes uh, give me the, the suggestion uh, for uh, 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 what technique is suitable what what is the name of the project uh, uh, community service project sir oh community services ah uh, yeah community service project. very good very good you can give my details to him i will give a data set for community services and i can uh, give him uh, deep learning techniques how to execute and i'll show the predictions of community how best services we can do from that data set first he needs to collect a good data set which is having all facilities all, uh, all types of columns attributes and the data set must be huge then if we can apply a cnn dnn rnn any one technique if it is image processing related application go for cnn if it is related to streaming data audio video data go for rnn or text data go for rnn or some packages are available i will suggest him you please share my mobile number and whatsapp number for let him let execute, execute. i i will explain, explain how, how to execute, execute the community services application okay sir okay sir okay sir any sir. other question it is executing, executing now. now altaf sir altaf sir ha ah, sir tell me sir any question sir sir okay 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 uh, thank you sir thank you for this uh, uh, great time uh, with you really we are, our students are uh, also satisfied with the presentation as well as the queries yes, yes. sir uh, we request you for the uh, means your contact as well as email id if uh, our students are having any issues they could uh, mail you uh, that we request you sir yes yes and uh, yes, furthermore yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Uh, we thank you, sir, for this uh, great session, uh, and we uh, expect you for one more session, sir, in the coming days. Uh, yes. Sir, uh, yeah, I would like yeah. to give my means the next session, uh, next time means the upcoming time uh, to speak our HWD sir, Dr. Alta Hussain Basha sir, is a professor of CSC. Uh, he would like to uh, means uh, give the word of thanks to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, good afternoon to all. Uh, today uh, our department is. Uh, uh, Conducted a uh, international uh, webinar on uh, data science application using the machine learning and uh, uh, deep learning uh, techniques. Uh, uh, this program is uh, 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 delivered by uh, Dr. A. Kinnavathru, uh, Department of IT and, and Head in uh, uh, Data Science, uh, uh, Blue Chess uh, uh, University. Uh, Libya. Sir, uh, 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 I I would like to thank to our uh, principal sir and uh, uh, management uh, for uh, uh, supporting of uh, conducting uh, the, this program. Uh, I I would I would like a special thank to our uh, resource person, uh, Doctor A. Tinamathulu, for uh, uh, delivering of uh, the. Uh, this question uh, for give the 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 valuable uh, uh, suggestion the, the the valuable uh, uh, topic and uh, the 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 amazing stand uh, and uh, the the machine learning and uh, uh, deep learning uh, technique thank you sir thank you very much uh, 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 dr a h chinwaslu uh, and also and uh, the uh, uh, and uh, thank to uh, I would like to thank to uh, our uh, coordinator, uh, Dr. Chantan uh, Babu, uh, for uh, conducting uh, the uh, program. And also all the staff uh, uh, members. And uh, uh, 
and uh, finally uh, i would like thank to uh, students and participants uh, 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 for uh, attending uh, this program okay thank you uh, thank you very much uh, for all yes, sir sir lab is free mukti is good for us okay similar to one uh, we, we can purchase okay thank you sir ah yes sir thank you very much thank you very much yes sir yes sir thank you sir thank you have a great time sir thank you so much Okay. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you all the participants. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you all uh, the participants. Ah, uh, please subscribe my channel. Ah, uh, in the YouTube, all my dear students. I'm expecting today evening. You need to subscribe, and I need to see all. Ah, uh, uh, see, appreciate uh, any of the students. Uh, you can listen to my videos. And uh, ask my host. I am sharing my email and uh, mobile number to your uh, HOD and the Samsung sir. We can do more projects, more paper, uh, paper presentation work, journal papers. We can do two together. Sir, please share my mobile number, email ID to students. Alta sir. Sure, sure, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah, please, please uh, make sure that all students subscribe or not for my channel. Okay, sir. Once they listen, they can ask any doubts. I will explain, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you, thank you, okay, thank you very much. Thank sir. you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. Thank you, sir, for for spending a lot of time with our colleagues. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. recording is being stopped sir thank you tapin sir why